You know, one group of companies that thinks it can make a real difference here is the 3D printer industry. For example, HP tells CNBC that it's now coordinating with governments and healthcare agencies to identify what medical equipment is needed most right now, and then leveraging its 3D printers to make those parts. Together with its manufacturing partners, it's already produced and delivered more than 5,000 face shields, mask adjusters, and hands-free door openers to hospitals. It isn't alone, though. Stratasys is also engaged in this challenge, on track to make 6,500 face shields just this week, and in a sign of just how strong demand really is right now, they tell us hundreds of hospitals have now reached out to the company asking for a total of 350,000 such face shields. IDC's Tim Green, who covers the industry, says 3D printers do boast certain advantages, and the biggest, he says, flexibility. These printers can make parts anywhere they are placed, and modifications to the actual manufacturing process are easier. There are drawbacks, too, though. He says traditional manufacturers at this point can still churn out parts a lot faster and at lower cost, and remember, new 3D medical parts can also, of course, require regulatory approval.